Good morning, Pastor Dan or Dan Stratton here, and we are welcoming welcoming you to Morning Motivations. Last week, you got to see my grandson. I, he has uh, been such a blessing to me. I got to spend a lot of time with him this week. Uh, we're getting ready to go down to uh, Laredo to meet with our good friends at Faithway Church and uh, see what's going on down there at the border. It's a very, very uh, dangerous situation down there. A lot of people that are coming across are desperate. A lot of people are doing things that are not really great. They're running drugs. They're uh, they're uh, running people, doing a lot of things. So I, it's uh, part of my life on a regular basis to kind of go into places where there is struggle and where there is trouble. And we work these morning motivation principles. Just came back from Cuba. Uh, we're uh, feeding 800 people a day, and we are uh, supporting the staff there. We have a number of them on payroll. People that are on payroll there are making almost twice as much as what a doctor makes in Cuba. And it allows them to uh, associate and, and be able to support a lot of other people, which is very, very powerful, very, very strong. And we're just trying to maintain that relationship and, and work in some good principles like the ones we work with on motiv morning motivations on a regular basis. You got to build into it uh, a process a protocol, a culture that allows us to agree. You might imagine uh, the work at Don Laredo in, the, in that community. A lot of people up from Mexico, a lot of people uh, in Cuba are Cuban, clearly. And the cultural differences sometimes between, you know, the New York, the, the New York area or even the United States in general and Cuba and the and the cultural differences down the border can be pretty massive. They can be a lot. Excuse my cough this morning. I got a little tickle in my throat. But we work to agree on certain things. We work to uh, really find common ground. What are we trying to accomplish? And the way we do that is we talk and we converse. What are you trying to achieve? You know, I know that. Uh, I can't, I work basic principles. I've written a book called uh, Very Few Fathers. It has 12 simple thoughts in it. And so when I'm working the basics of those 12 simple thoughts, it helps me to stay focused when I'm having a conversation with or when I'm trying to reach agreement or when we're working on a project and I perceive something isn't going the way that they said it was good. Now, my first reaction is, Oh my God, they're not telling me the truth. They're not giving me all the information. What's going on? But then I go back to the basics and I, uh, and I try to understand that. What are we trying to accomplish here? We're trying to accomplish something greater. And a big part of working towards accomplishing anything is understanding one another and really hearing one another and, and working towards uh, a, a way so that we can, we can. Uh, not have to stop in the middle of everything to, uh, you know, overcome hurt feelings, overcome misunderstandings and, and all of these things. So it's important that you take the time from the beginning, from the beginning to kind of set terms. That's what business people do all the time. They, they work on that contract, you know, they come together and they say, say to each other, uh, you know, I want to buy this from you. And then they say, this is how much I want to buy. This is what I'm willing to pay for it. Uh, here's where I want it delivered. Here's what I'm willing to pay for the delivery. Here's the quality of the product that I expect. And then the seller then says, all right, I'm willing to deliver it there. I can't do that price, but I can do this price. And yes, I can meet those qual quality specifications, the quantity specifications. So you kind of get the understanding of how uh, successful interaction are made, but relationships are a lot more sensitive than that and a lot more valuable than that, a lot more valuable than just one transaction. So, it, so we, it's really imperative that you don't assume that you understand each other right from the beginning and that you 
really have to work through your own process, taking care of your own emotions, taking care of your own uh, intentions. Are they pure? Are they honest? Are they fair? And as you work through that, because sometimes you could be your own worst enemy, you might be a little bit unfair in what you're asking for in agreement. You might be a little bit, uh, uh, you know, you might not be as good a listener as you think you are. And so taking all that thing. So I, I'm calling this message today, trust the basics, because the basics are, you know, they're, they're the communication basics. Are we listening? Are we doing our very best to, to uh, communicate clearly? Are we really saying what we mean? Are we being as uh, sincere and as faithful and as consistent as we expect this other person in the relationship to be? Because I like to say a lot of things times, you know, we can only really control for ourselves. I can't always control for anybody else in a relationship. Uh, I could, I could bless them. And then I, I certainly can control whether or not I'm in that relationship or whether or not I want to continue in that relationship. But I can't, you know, I can't force someone to do something or force someone to do something they don't want to do. So the importance of the, the basics is, is am I communicating clearly? Am I listening clearly? And what I mean by listening clearly, am I hearing what they're saying? Or is it clouded by what I expect them to say? Is it clouded by what I want them to say? Have I, if I have clearly articulated my requirements for this kind of partnership or this kind of a relationship, this kind of friendship that, you know, we can, uh, proceed and then we can move forward and then I can manage. I could take responsibility really for my own feelings. I could take responsibility for my own, uh, participation. So that's really, really an important aspect of, uh, staying on the basics and managing your emotions. So I use a number of tools for this. I have, I have, uh, what I call the 12 simple thoughts. And those simple thoughts help me to stay focused. My first thought is we are going to succeed. We win. Let's play. Okay. So I start from something good to happen. So when a bump in the road comes, I immediately go to, okay, we'll overcome that because we're going to be victorious. So that's, we win. Let's play. The second one is we're all called to do great things, but no one can do it, do it by themselves. Now, what that does is is a lot of times when you get a bump in the road, you want to blame somebody else, but you got to remember that you need other people to really accomplish something that's uh, important, big. And if you, especially if you want to perpetuate, especially if you want to make it grow and last and uh, bless people for years to come. So you always, you got to be slow, very slow to uh, be offended or, or, or uh, slow to, to, uh, disengage, right? Third thing is there's no such thing as second class citizens. So you got to be really careful when you're in a relationship, a partnership, uh, when you're doing business or you're doing ministry like I do, or you're doing uh, a, a bunch of, when you're doing anything together, you got to remember that it's important in that relationship that you work very hard, that you don't create a hierarchy of condescension where somebody feels like you're talking down to them. Or you, or you feel like they're talking down to you. You got to work very hard to stay in an equal, equal partnership. That's true in a marriage. It's true even with your children, you know, because it's not like you got to be their friends. You're still their parent, but you've got to make sure that, that, that you're not somehow not listening to them. So somehow you are just talking to them, giving them directives rather than helping them to understand what you're saying, why you're saying it, and Every time you say something to that person, you want them to be able to say it back to you. I mean, with the same intention, with the same clarity, with the same uh, uh, emotion and passion in the sense of knowing that they not only have they heard it, but they, they agree with it and they see the beauty of the intention. So that's a very important di dynamic where you're always making sure that uh, 
you're in that community. These are the basics, right? These is you don't want to make somebody feel bad when they're in a relationship with you. And the fourth one is you got to stay developing yourself. So every day you'll find, you know, set a few goals for yourself. Set a spiritual goal, which means get quiet, spend some time. If you're a believer, you talk to God. If you're not, then just get quiet and listen, right? Try to spend some time of rest, okay? Physically, do something to get stronger. Make sure you're eating properly, drinking good water, getting good sleep. Mentally, you want to be learning something in the area that you want to get better at. So you always want to be developing. You know, I need to learn Spanish. I need to really get better at my communication skills. Emotionally, you want to sit down and think about how you feel about things. And then you want to start saying, you know, why do I feel that way? You move through that so you assess it, so you get stronger, so you spend more time in joy, less time in worry, more time in peaceful, productive time and less time and just regret and just fear, right? So that's the emotional piece. You want to set some goals for that. And then socially, you want to look at the relationships that are in your life and you want to see, you know, which ones do I want to really grow and enhance? And then finally, financially, you want to start making investments. You want to start saving money. You want to start knocking off your debt, whatever it is, but set some small goals on a daily basis. That's how you develop yourself. The next one is you got to refuse to be defended as, or offended. You just can't let people knock you off your game by things that they say. This is where I'm saying you can't control for anybody else. So you have to know that, you know, that offense is going to come. Somebody's going to, you know, say one thing and do another. Someone's going to say something negative about you, whatever. Always go back and just, that's where you do that spiritual work. That's where you set your goals in the other area. And those basics will help you to overcome those bumps in the road. So just refuse to be offended. The next thing is if you can just focus, number six, the simple thought is speak well. Speak well of other people. Speak well of your vision. Speak well of your program, your what you're working on. Always do your best to put it in a good light and speak well of it for a number of reasons. Other people are going to hear it. You're going to hear it. You need to continue to speak well of it. Back to number seven would be that we don't quit people, but we sure let people who are being toxic and abusive and not doing what they say, we just, just let them go and start focusing on some other relationships. You don't quit them, but if they're treating you poorly, they've already quit you and you need to, you need to really, really think about that. Now, also remember that there's a supply available. We call that in my circles, we call that supply available on a regular basis is we say everything that we need is in God or it's in the body of Christ, right? So we expect to find the peace that we're looking for. A lot of times people will quit because, oh, I just can't get there. I can't get the money. I can't get the, the help or the expertise. I don't know how to do that. No, I expect that that information will come to me, especially if I'm taking a victorious attitude, I'm staying in a relationship, I need other people. I'm not allowing myself to be condescended to. I'm not condescending to other people. I'm getting stronger every day by developing myself. And I'm refusing to be offended. And I'm speaking well. So that's why now I'm not quitting people. And to the next point, I can now expect the supply to be somewhere. I'm going to be able to find it. I'm going to be able to figure out a way to procure it. And I'm going to be able to put it into practice. Now, those are eight of the 12. As we move forward in this, the next thing is, is that you got to bring your passion today. Make your supply available today. A lot of people just wait around on a regular basis. These are the basics. This is how you move forward, especially, especially when you have been kicked in the teeth. Kicked in the teeth, you know. That's where you got to learn to encourage yourself. That's where you got to forgive and be forgiven often, right? And that's where you want to be in relationships where not only are you developing yourself, we call this teachers teach, but fathers teach love and stay. You stay in a relationship. So you're helping other people to develop, teaching them this common language, and then moving this thing forward. Very, very powerful, these thoughts. Now, I just worked through them in 15 minutes. It usually takes me an hour at least to just walk through them. But 
and it takes takes me years to really help people to understand the importance of flooding your mind with basics of how you overcome obstacles, how you overcome sets, how you overcome a blatant attack from a friend, from a coworker, from a disease, from a financial setback, all these things. So you have to learn to trust the basics. Trust the basics. So stay on these morning motivations, send in your phone calls, and uh, not phone calls, but text us and let us know and make a request of us. All of this stuff that I'm teaching you today is written down in a book. And if you want to get the book, just let us know. And my team will send you an e-copy of that book. We are uh, taking these principles all over the world into the prisons. We're taking them into the business world of uh, intellectual property technologies. We're taking these principles into Cuba. Of course, we're sharing them through New York City. So we are building a team, a team that won't quit, a team that uh, will accomplish what it sets out to accomplish. And the greatest thing that I find is not the projects that we complete, not the things that we build, but the people that find peace, that they find happiness, they find satisfaction on a daily basis. So not only are they productive, but they're happy while they're productive because they've learned to take personal responsibility and they've learned that they're not as out of control and reactive as they think they are. They have a lot more ability to be free in the midst of chaos, in the midst of, of uh, all sorts of negative circumstances. So I want to thank you today for tuning in. You know, if you're out there and you're a praying person, I'm a, today is the day I have to encourage myself. Uh, you know, I'm going through some different things with some different people that I'm supporting. And I need to, and when I get poured out, sometimes I get a little vulnerable when I'm, when I'm you know, stretching, I get a little vulnerable. And so I, I have to work these princ principles even more. So this morning, I'm encouraging myself. I'm forgiving myself for, for being sensitive. Uh, all these things, all these principles, I have to work myself. I'm thankful for my prayer team that prays every morning. And they're, they, they certainly pray for me. And they're praying for you. And they're praying for the United States. They're praying for you know, the earth, all the planets, or all the, all the nations of the earth, and the people and all the things that are going on. It's just very powerful, an hour and a half every day. Thanks for tuning in. I went a little long today. Thanks. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, right, Eddie. We uh, certainly appreciate your partnership, and it's great. Elizabeth, I'll be in uh, Hebronville this weekend. God bless all of you. Have an awesome day, and thanks for tuning in to Morning Motivation. We'll be talking to you again next week. Bye-bye now.